What's going on, everybody? It is me, Mr. Jones. This is Shenanigans with Mr. Jones. And yes, I have something covering my face. As you can see here, I got the silver back running. I'm outside my house right now. And uh, everybody's out there making these how-to videos on how to make a mask. Everybody's trying to use up all the good quality hospital grade first responder mask. That's cool if you got one. A mask, props to you. But guess what? If you're a regular Joe like me, you didn't go out and get a mask. You didn't try to get it off Amazon before they shut it down for us regular folk. You got to make yourself an improvised mask. I'm going to show you how to make the easiest mask without spending any kind of money. That being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right on in to this video. All right. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to make a mask. Now, as you see, I got one on my face right now. Move this one down so you can see what I'm talking about. But before I do that, two things you're gonna need. One is common sense. Once you got that, move to step two. Step two is a pair of scissors. Once you got your pair of scissors, you can need yourself a handy dandy t-shirt. That's right, you guys all watch Blues Blues. You need yourself a handy dandy t-shirt, okay? T-shirt because you need sleeves, okay? As you see here, I got on a sleeveless shirt. This was not always a sleeveless shirt. This was once a t-shirt because it had sleeves on it. That's right, the mask that you see around my neck here came from this very same shirt. I made it into an improvised mask because everyone's coughing and sneezing coronavirus into the air and I don't want to breathe it in. So, as I was saying, number two is a pair of scissors, number three is a t-shirt. Now, once you get yourself a handy dandy t-shirt because we all watch blues blues it's really simple super easy you don't have to go into your sock drawer and get your nice socks out and use your socks on your face you don't have to do that get yourself a nice clean t-shirt even if it's dirty wash it get yourself a clean t-shirt you're gonna take your scissors and you're literally gonna cut the sleeves off of your t-shirt if you don't know how to do that I want to show you how to do that okay so get your t-shirt find the seam I would recommend cutting on this side of the seam not this side because you want to have something sturdy to hold all those little fibers together because if, if you cut on this side which I did with one of them you'd have a whole bunch of fibers just sticking up and poking your nose making you sneeze you don't want to be sneezing you sneeze out in public you might go to jail so you want to cut on this side of the seam I'm sure you how to do that now Side note, might be a little easy if you got a partner to hold and keep the shirt taut while you try to cut. But if you don't and you're doing this in the air like me instead of maybe on a table, this is how you do it. Be careful. Like I said, you need common sense. Okay, as you see, I've gotten the cut started. Just keep on working your way on down. I'm gonna fast forward one, and I'll show you guys this in real time. The next one that I do will be fast forwarded. Now, another side note, when you're using scissors, you're using any kind of cutting device, especially like a knife or a, a power saw or something like that, you always wanna cut away from your body. I recommend doing this on a table. If you don't have any kind of table, then you may have to do it like this. But, if you're doing it this way, essentially, Take one half of the shirt, pin it to your body, as so. Take your off hand, clamp it down. Take your hand that's connected to your arm, hold the sleeve, and begin to cut. If you wanna be ghetto, just rip it, it'll rip off, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. You still wanna have a nice t-shirt when you're all said and done. And like that, got yourself a mask. So what's this mask gonna look like on your face? I'll show you what that's gonna look like. So take your mask, 
take the wider part of it. You have a wider part and you have a less wider part. Take that wider part, put that one on first. Keep pulling until you get it all the way over your head. Now, if you got a fat head, may want to get a looser shirt. But the whole purpose of this is to have a mask that completely covers your nose, covers your mouth, and even for me, I'll have to cover my ears. I don't want no coronavirus germs getting in my ear hole. So I cover up everything. So, like I said, Take a shirt, a t-shirt, a t-shirt, and you cut it up. That way, you got yourself an easy mask. Now, I'll cut this side up, just so you can see that. Kind of fast forward it if you want. But essentially, that's it. Video over. You got yourself a nice mask, put a hat on, go to Walmart, go to Jewel Osco, go to Kroger. I don't care. Cover yourself, keep yourself safe. I don't want to smell your breath. I don't want to catch your coronavirus. This is the best way to do it, not only to protect yourself, but a more serious note, protect yourself, protect your family, and especially if you have people in your family that are of age, specifically 45 and up, give or take, you want to make sure you don't pass this crap to them if you happen to have it. Put a mask on, protect yourself, save lives, save your life, save somebody else. Easy mask, takes all of maybe a minute and a half. All you need is three things. Common sense, a pair of scissors, and a handy dandy t-shirt, because we all watch booze clues. That being said, I'm gonna get back to my tri-tip. Smelling good, get back to that. That all being said, I am Mr. Jones. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share it with somebody. It's an easy map. You don't have to put stinky socks on your face unless you like feet. If that's your thing, more power to you. Not me. I'll put a t-shirt on my face, okay? got yourself two new masks that you can easily wash and use another day you got yourself a nice little workout t-shirt too <laughs> not no longer it's not a t-shirt it's not a t-shirt it's a sleeveless shirt so now you got yourself a nice sleeveless shirt go work out stay healthy is that rain ha ah, it's raining now you got yourself a handy dandy sleeveless shirt that you can go work out in. Especially with coronavirus going on, everybody's at home. Go outside, smell the roses. Go for a walk, six feet away. Got a suit and shirt on, got your mask on. Everybody's healthy. That being said, have a good one.